Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new safe file. We are jumping in again and I have a craving to play as my good fella. I was going to say Tainted Azazel, but we've done quite a lot of him. Um, did we do all of that in one run? Let's do, let's do Tainted Lilith again. Tainted Lilith's just a good old bit of fun. And we'll jump back onto some modded characters later down the line. Uh, please do leave suggestions as well for what modded characters you want to see more than others. I'm always willing to sort of, of, of the ones that we've got installed, of course, um, always willing to see what people want to see. And vanilla characters as well, yeah. What, what characters do you want to see more of? I know a lot of people asked for Tainted Lost, so I've been playing a bit of Tainted Lost, because I enjoy them as well. Ooh, Golden Flakes. I'm going to hold off on taking Golden Flakes right now, um, just because it makes any trinket you have gold. And while it's unlikely you get a trinket on the first floor, it's not impossible. Um, so I think I ought to hold off just in case, because a golden trinket would be quite nice. Um, just thinking here. Is there anything I want to do with this room, really? Realistically, not really, I don't think. Especially because I'd have to give away my black heart to get that spicy key. Although I would like the spicy key, but yeah. Like, trying to get a petrified poop out of here, something like that, I don't know. Just, just a little bit of extra to, to golden it up, because... That's like the best thing about uh, gold flakes. Of course, it can also drop a golden trinket when you pick it up too. That is a chance, but it's it's a low one. Because um, it can drop golden bombs or golden troll bomb or all sorts of different golden things. So yeah, trying to get it to make a trinket gold is definitely the best way forward. Um, as for um, the question of the day... What's what's something that you always try to do in a social situation? Like, if you're someone that's either either finds social situations difficult or someone that thrives in social situations, what's what's something that you always try to do to like either get through it or um, help people feel included or just something that's sort of like a habit of yours? I think mine is like I've i I feel like I've gotten pretty good and I've had people tell me this. Um, that I'm pretty good at like engaging with new people, although I'm not like I'm, I'm a very um, I'm a, it's weird, I'm, a, I'm very much an introvert, but I'm not very antisocial. Um, I, I like, I, I like my alone time very much so, like, very, very much so. But, um, I also very much can get on with people pretty easily. And I think one of the reasons for that is because, um, just because I, I do stuff like YouTube, I talk, talk a lot. And yeah, one of the things I always try to do is, like, if, if it's someone I haven't met or just a new person to the group, just, like, trying to ask them about, like, their opinions on what people what like things have been said or like trying to ask them what their hobbies are and stuff because like a few times like people that i've met from my girlfriend's job and stuff i ended up ha like having like decent friendships with because like one of them for example is like really into cooking and of course any of you that have watched my um you see you see this bullshit um any of you that have watched my content for any amount of time will know that i'm very big into cooking uh so so that was like an instant click for us both. Uh, not a great item here, but I will take it nonetheless. You, I was going to say, it'd be so funny if I went in there and it was just like full of trinkets. That would have been so funny. Um, right. So, unfortunately, Gold Flakes was pretty piss poor for us there. I was hoping to at least get a golden penny or a, um, a golden uh, bomb out of it. But, unfortunately, we get the worst one you can possibly get. The golden troll bomb. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It is how it is. Though. But yeah, I know there's obviously probably a lot of you out there that are also not so good in situa uh, social situations and don't like them. Of course, it happened already. It happened already. Of course it did. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't you devastate my black heart? Rude. Rude dude. But yeah, I'm sure there's some of you out there that maybe aren't so good at social situations uh, or don't enjoy them as much. And you have some, like, sort of coping mechanisms that'd be interesting to learn about. But also as well, it's like, potentially, you could read through the comments and see what other people do to get navigate the situations. And it might be something that you either haven't thought of before or you haven't really tried imploring, employing, employing? Yeah, employing's the right word. Employing into some situations yourself and it might kind of help out. I don't know. I, I, like... I don't know how many of you, like, go through and read other people's answers to questions of the day. I think I have asked something similar before. Um, but I guess I, I always enjoy it. Like, 
I, I, I'm really glad that we we got into the habit of uh, of Question of the Day being like a big thing for the Isaac series. I don't really do it on my other series just because this one's kind of the main crew, um, the OGs. But I really like it. It just it just adds that like extra level of interaction between you guys, and it and it it means that you guys have a a valid reason to comment, and I have a valid reason to to read it sort of thing. Like I know that uh, I I read and answer to every single comment, anyways. But, like, with a lot of YouTubers, obviously, they don't. And it's because a lot of comments can be trash. <laughs> Not by you guys. You guys are great. But you look at some YouTube comment sections, and it's just, like, children flailing <laughs> wildly. And it's just, ugh. Um, but, like, giving a sort of reason and a purpose to comment, not only it drives engagement, which is great for the channel, uh, but also it means that, like, there's a, a really sort of valid reason to read said comments. Probably want to go Angel deal with about health I'm on right now. Just be a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. I, I was I was wondering if I should take the gamble with the two keys on the uh, the dice room. I'm thinking yes I will. If it's a full run reroll I'll take it. If it's a five room I'll take it. If it's like a two or a three or a four I'm gonna be sad. It's a twelve, which is actually not bad to find after everything's said and done because it, it it works retroactively. Um, so this actually isn't too bad. Unfortunately, it's going to reroll this this rock that's pretty good for us. But it could yield some nice stuff. I mean, we just got two lucky pennies, um, which is kind of insane luck. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll like reroll the rooms with a bunch of rocks. Just see what we can get. See what we can get. In a room like this is pretty good. Not like I'm gonna get a ton out of this, but it's it's extra. It's 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 good stuff. That doesn't make make any difference to us. I say yeah, like we're getting like pennies here and there and stuff. It's not bad, not bad. Not had anything super stellar yet. That's what I'm talking about. That's the reason we do this. Although I didn't really get much coins from that, but that's still good stuff. I know this is a secret room, but I have a bomb. It's upsetty spaghetti, but... To save the day... In comes Mr. Pushable TNT. Although, I'll be honest... Don't know how I'm going to do this without taking damage. Yeah, I didn't manage to do it without taking damage, and of course my glass cannon broke, which I wasn't thinking about, I'll be honest. But look at that, look at that. Get us off a two of clubs to double our bombs. Doesn't do much for us right now, but in the future maybe it could be something spicy. And we got two free chests here as well. What a fiction. Ooh, uh, Curse Pennies can drop on room clear, high replacement chance. Why not? Curse Pennies are interesting. Let me get a rotten heart there. Oh, you devious bitch. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I wasn't even thinking about that douche. God damn it. Anyways, we restart. Bit of a false start there, but... Hey her, it happens. Oh, this is one of the guys that's invincible until we kill everything. My goodness. Wasn't expecting that. Key pickups are 10 to spicy keys. Spicy keys are doubled, but the pl uh, Okay, just tell us what spicy keys are. Don't know if I want that. Ooh, Eden's Blessing, you say. Eden's Blessing. I mean, tears up is nice, but also extra item on the next... Uh, on the next run, which could be in this video based on what's happened thus far. Um, I will definitely take that. And of course the game's like, oh, but you needed trinkets on the first floor last run? Well, here's two on this run. <laughs> evil game. It knows. Also, not very evil game, because it is giving me hella HP right now. And I like that a lot. Also, killing these enemies so easily this early on is just, oh, so satisfying. No pills this time, thank you. No thanks, I'm full. Oh, 
I just didn't even remotely bother reacting to that guy jumping on me there. It's fine though, our health is looking stacked and we get damage up as well. Okay, this is probably a better start than the last run, I, I have to say. We don't have an evil chip fly hovering around throwing its BS at me. I love that item, but goddamn. I try to defend it. It just gives me every reason to hate it. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. It's kind of like with Bob's brain when I try and defend Bob's brain, and then it's like, haha, you've defended me. This is my time to shine and fuck you over. Why do you do that? Why? God. Slightly annoying room, but luckily, enemies here e are easily killed. I just, I love. Oh, really? I bopped it into myself. I meant to push it away. God damn it. I'm just going to do the boss now. It's Bumble. It's a shame my little uh, mini Isaacs don't get a whip of their own. It'd be pretty awesome if they did, but also understandable why they don't. Cracker Jacks. Even with my health now, I should. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All stats up, can't be dropped. Picking up a key has a 25% chance of destroying this trinket. Why not? Why not? it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. Back we go. The Chubster's on a roll. Still no bombs though, because seeing a lot of my uh, potential secret room locations glaring out to me very obviously, and the game's like, nah. Oh, there you go. We got one. Um, Bumbo, you say. Interesting. We'd only get one reroll. I'm going to take Bumbo. Bumbo's another one that can kind of screw you over, but I quite like him. He's a, he's a good boy. He eateth the coin. He do it real good. Sadly, he no eateth the HP. Sadly, no coin for this boy. Oh, 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 kind of walked the wrong way there. Right, so where do I think my secret room actually is? I think it's just to the right and up here. I think it's right there. That looks very, very much like the secret room to me. And it is indeed. Um, unfortunately, some golden keys that we can't grab. Bad times. Second secret room is not somewhere obvious. I'm, it's probably all the way back at that hallway I just went down, in fact. But I'm not going to bother uh, seeking that out right now. Cool. Okay, so we've now got a trinket that can't be dropped. And we also want to be avoiding picking up keys until we have to. Um, which is kind of interesting. We can use the Bible for this. Uh, do I want to use two keys on that right now? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, explosive boys. No, thank you. Just, I love it. If you get a damage up as this character, you're just kind of set for a good while. Like, one-shotting those dudes is... Amazing. Oh, uh, we got a pinchy crab in the business. Thank God I, able to, I was able to kill that guy quickly because I hate those crabs. I say it every time they show up. You guys know by now. I'm sure any of you that are watching this now are regular viewers that have been watching for a while. In fact, that's an interesting second question of the day. How long have you been watching? Ooh, baby, how does this work? It works interestingly. I like it. We have a lot of range now. Yeah, because now our tears are actually sort of sticking around a little bit. I think this is overall a net positive. I don't know if range affects our whipping distance. It kind of looks like it does. Bumbo, there's a coin right there. Eat up, my child. Eat up. Dinner is served. You have been gifted one single penny. One single penny indeed. Oh! I've still been uh, on my um, on my Skyrim grind, getting my mods all set up. It's, it's just... It's... Ah, oh, stupid me. I didn't even think about that when I picked that up. Just picked it up. It's kind of fine because we're going to open up two golden chests over here anyways. And we're going to need the keys eventually. So it was just... Lost it a bit before I should have done. Um, 
But yeah, I think I've got it into a really good spot now, and I'm, I'm enjoying playing it. Um, still, of course, trying to fix bugs and stuff. That's just part of the experience. But honestly, someone put a post on the Skyrim modding Reddit uh, recently that basically said that Skyrim modding itself is exactly the same of the core gameplay loop of the game. Like, it, modding itself is a game, and honestly, I... I, I I feel that so hard. Like the, the the process of modding the game and then like making sure it all works and playing and fixing bugs as you come across them and never actually playing the game properly is like it's such a cathartic experience. I don't know what what it is about it, but it's so enjoyable. And I think that's one of the reasons that I'm sort of get, like putting up the idea to do a series because I feel like that would actually force me to play the game. Like I, for example, I, I have like. Across all the different versions of Skyrim I've played, which is the PS3 version, Skyrim Special Edition and on, on PC, and Skyrim Normal Edition on PC, I've probably got about 1,000 to 1,200 hours locked in. Something around there. Um, and I've literally never completed the main story. Ever. Oh, I stole. I stole from you. I'm sorry. Oh, you did level up, though. Um... Yeah, I've literally never completed the main story, not once, and I have so many hours in that game. Uh, it's just, it's just one of those games that like, just playing around with mods and then like doing what we want. Even even when, before I had mods, just playing around with like all the various different side quests and stuff. It's just really entertaining, really enjoyable. Don't remember what you do. You've got a few new attacks that spook me heavily. You got you, taken care of. Not bad. Got a key from Bumble there, I think, I'm guessing. Seraphim? Oh no, it's Garden Angel. Why didn't I re-roll that? That's the question that's on everyone's mind. Did I do Mega Sin? I did. Okay, I can re-roll this at least. The question on everyone's mind is why didn't I I suppose Guardian Angel is good. The more like if it blocks enough shots, it um sorry, sorry. Um Actually it has a pretty decent fire rate up. I forget that. Um right, let's go. It does, it does give you eternal hearts after blocking so many shots, and also it does magnetize shots towards it um, and blocks them, so it, it's not bad in, by any means. Oh my god, so much fire rate, wow. We're up to 6.30 fire rate, wow. Oh my god. The whipping. I whip my hair back and forth. This is crazy. And then plus the, that plus the range, and then this... Storm, like look, look at the storm of tears we can produce here. Like if we wanted to, we could just kind of get this guy in there and have him doing stuff. It's it's not the most effective tactic because the whipping is just so strong. Still, it's entertaining nonetheless. Whipping out keys like crazy, my guy. Death card, like might as well just take that and pop it. Uh, ugh, that's not great. I, th I thought that was the one that made your companions deal uh, contact damage then, because that would have been pretty good with Bumbo, because that would basically have just upped his damage. Um, we do have a cracked key here. I'm just going to use it there. Because we don't have mapping, I'm unsure as to really where is the best place to use that. So I'm thinking just go for an absolute gamble and see if, see if it pays off. It did not. Oh, what a shame. Do, 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 Oh, what a shame. It's fine, though. We'll keep moving on. We haven't seen item room this... Uh, I did get an item this floor, but I haven't seen item room yet, so... Keep an eye out for that. Oh, damn, we actually managed to rip that guy's head off. Um, I think that's cause, just because we've got, like, high... Is that high damage, or is that, like, projectile speed or something? I don't, I don't actually know how that works. That might have been off-center, but that might have also just been not the secret room. I don't know. Uh, where have I been? My goodness do I hate not having mapping. I just can't remember where the fuck I've been. I've just got, like, the brain of a goldfish. That's 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 the main issue here. My memory sucks so hard, so I just cannot remember. I'm sure some people have, like, really good memory for, like, knowing where they've been and what, floor, what rooms they've already, like, gone to. But just absolute brain rot for me. Can't remember. Hello. Dude, this guy telegraphs so quick. Ow. Lost a lot of health I shouldn't have lost there. 
It's all right. Bumper is giving me hella bombs right now. We've actually got enough to uh, go shopping ourselves here. It's always nice. What's that? Just a pill. Ugh. So now, you're going to say, now it feels like I've kind of been everywhere, but apparently I haven't because I've not seen the boss or the item room, but I don't remember where I haven't been. I'm going to guess there was a few doors this way. Yeah, there was a few doors this way we haven't gone to. This one, I think. Nice. Bumbo, you can take that. Need you to get big and strong. You can have that as well, my good lad. There you go. You've entered Chunkster State. You have put on the pounds, my good lad. You have put on the pounds. Quality doesn't do much for us. Ooh, that's a kind of cool room design there. Another bomb from this guy? Thank you. Lots more money. I'll just give that all to you. I've got enough money to purchase stuff. Eat up, my fat king. Crack the Sky is incredible. Very happy to have it. Very holy looking run right now. I will take Cyst for that 10 times damage bonus on my first hit. See what we get in here. Double Soul Heart again. Crack the Sky should be ace here, yeah. Enemies that can't move, it kind of decimates. Speed up is real nice here. Like that a lot. We're kind of zooming through the floors right now, and I love that. Zoom him and he's zamming through. Uh, one second. Oopsie, I paused the video. I thought I paused the video, so I went to unpause it. Turns out I hadn't paused it in the first place, so apologies for a few moments of silence while I uh, messaged a friend back. I didn't pause when I meant to pause. Oopsie. We have a lot of um, immoral hearts right now. Spicy. That's someone we haven't played as an age. We haven't played as Fiend in so goddamn long. Maybe I'll play as Fiend next episode. It only feels right. He must be like a penny or two off of evolving. Then we get Full Boy, who can drop bombs on us, but also he can create items. So it's rare, but he can create items. So I don't want to get too good to use Syndrome with my uh, practice guy. I want to actually use it for regular rooms as well. You're so close, boy. So close. Just a little more. I see you in there, boot boy. Emperor card. Or something I need to risk getting hit for. Definitely, uh, the whip has more range, right? There he is. The big lad himself. The big lad himself. Large and in charge. Again, bosses that stand still. It absolutely decimates. People underrate Crack the Sky heavily, I think. Also, more speed here. I'm playing as Tented Lilith and being a speed demon just feels strange. I'm surprised they didn't really do, like, do anything with, like, changing stat caps on characters. Like, having characters like Maggie and, like, uh, Tainted Lilith, because they start at lower speed, having their highest speed also be lowered. And that'd be annoying, but I, like, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do anything like that. Two blocks there. Awesome. What the hell hit me then? Did that, that, that thing poison me? I keep wondering why I'm losing so much health when I get hit, and then I realize it's because all my little minions are out and about. I'll probably let him take some money now. Because he does good with money, but I want a little bit to uh, try and make our shop work on the next floor. God damn it, I got hit right at the end there. Oof. Looking for the item room at the minute, it's uh, eluding us. Oh god. You long-necked freaks. 
there. Zip that bomb back to me. I wonder if cyst plus blue flies is like really insane. If you just don't, if you just like let the blue flies deal the damage, are they gonna deal do you your regular damage or are they gonna deal like forty six damage? Mini mush is more speed. Like I said, it's kind of weird being a speed demon. Also up to twenty eight range. Gotta love it. Did I check this for secret room? Did not. Whoa! I one shot him. So funny. I will check this out just in case. Black card is fun, but uh, we do not have the money for it right now, and we don't really have the money to sustain it either. Black card is kind of something that you need. Um, you need a lot of funds to be able to actually utilize when it spawns stuff because the items cost more. Anyways. Down we go. Yeah, things are going well. We are speeding along, having a very good time, despite that first hiccup that we had. Yeah. So many keys, game. Wow. Sometimes you're just, like, absolutely destitute and have no keys. Other times the game's like, there you go, there's another one. And another one. And another one. Blasty four. You tempt me. You tempt me with your with your ways. I am certainly potentially on board for that. Not certainly on board. Certainly potentially on board. Let's see what we get this floor. Um, the virus rags is pretty good. I'll take that. Every third room we use a random buff. It can result in some shenanigans. I think I'm gonna stick with the run that I have. To be honest. Mainly because I really like having the speed that I have right now. Oh god, I got another 10 fire rate. Right. Eat up, my fat boy. We're at 15 coins now. This is all you. Oh, that was perfect. I don't know if Crack the Sky has any sort of aim to it, but it seems to. It does seem to be directed. The Bible has finally shown up. Toy drum is good. Stat capsules? Damn it, I was going to say, as long as we get one damage, I'll be happy. Didn't get any damage. Did get even more speed, though. See, I don't know. I'm tempted by Glass D4 just because I really like the Zane. Also, this run is pretty good. The cyst especially is, is like, helping out. The oh, Lord. What on earth is all this? What booketh have I used? I'm glad the Papyrus Rag doesn't just pull from vanilla books. It pulls from anything with the label book. It means it has just built-in mod support. That's nice. That can give you transcendence? Nice. Um, we are going Dark Path here. We have done Boss Rush, but I'll check it out. Um. I guess Sense is probably better here. That cookbook is real good. But I don't think we take any of these. And a Glass Depot. What we get? What we get? Looks like overall this is definitely a worse run. And I definitely want the book now. We also got book where I'm out of doing that nice. But we do have the toy drum still and we do have higher damage as of base. This isn't terrible. Our other one was just better because of the fire rate that we had. But this is still pretty good. And Sist was helping from room to room. But... We don't, well, we, I was going to say we don't have flight anymore, but we have Seraphim, so we do have flight still. We're still killing stuff, like, very quickly. 
We also have holy water here. There's also a little eye hovering around us with an image of turd. I don't, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that what that means. Is that a threat? <laughs> But yeah, we're still killing bosses at, like, a pretty decent rate here, I'd say. I really don't know what the little hovery thing with the poop... is. our first item on our list, I'm pretty sure, the, the little eyeball-looking electric eyeball thing. Is it, like, gonna show us the next item we're gonna get or something? Are we about to get the poop? It's gonna show us our future. We got this knockback item as well. Which is really good. It's the um, Smash Bros. reference. Because the weaker an enemy gets in that, the more knockback they take in that. Pretty cool. Good idea for an item. Taking some fat damage here. Pretty much fine. We've not got long to go, I don't think. I think we've got like five more waves. Oh, really? I walked right into that fire. Come on now. Keep coming. Holy Water's doing amazing as well. And obviously my little my little buddies too. Got to remember to get some health back from them. Oh, I walked into that. The hitbox on that is so janky. These guys are doing kind of great damage. You do a th the teleport. Excuse me? Did I just take creep damage while I have flight? What happened there? What hit me? Was it one of the, was it a rogue shot that I didn't see, or did I take creep damage while I'm flying? Does the TV static creep hurt you while you fly? If so, I was not aware. Come on, it taken care of. It's a little cute Krampus. Not Krampus, Fallen. I always forget the sprite for him now, it's kind of cutesy. The one that we had before made him look very demonic. This one makes him look very cutesy. Hey, there you go, and 3D glasses is certainly the one we want out of those two. Kind of interesting that we got an option there because we rolled into an item that gives us options. But yeah, now we've got this book, I'm pretty happy. The, the, this book basically kills all enemy types with the lowest HP in a room, even if those enemies are really strong enemies. Like this guy. He's just dead. The bug just kills him instantly. It's it's a really, really interesting idea. And especially rooms, like, it would have been perfect for this room. Because um, in a room like this, we would have uh, killed every single enemy straight away. My thing is no longer showing me poop anymore. Maybe it's giving me an item uh, for, a, like, to, like, a temporary item. I'm not entirely sure how this thing works. Need to stop getting hit though, I know that for sure. Also need to start winning on these goddamn bitches. Boom. Dude, why do the ten bangers keep failing? I have a I have a plan if I can actually win some of these. Hey hate runes like this, but luckily we have flight. Runes that rely on those dudes to actually fire where they where you want them to? Nah. Three successes in a row, and they're all worth one. You know what? Just get out of here. Don't faff around. Okay, we got Skolex. Skolex, last I checked, was still broken. So, we'll see if he... If we have issues with him. Oh no, he's not broken anymore. Haha, -ha, he's been updated. I am able to damage him now. Awesome. Okay, we have 30 good old monies now. I'm gonna quickly, while I have 30... Oop, one second. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I just got a Steam message to play a random game from someone in my Discord. Thank you, good sir. 
Right, while we have 30 good old pennies, I want to come over here and play this machine. See what we can get out of it. Just some soul hearts is what I'm looking for. Come on. Just one would do. It got them broke the goddamn machine. Heck. Not even giving me the uh the gratification of the mystery ball, whatever it, whatever it's called. King of Diamonds, noise. Buttload more money here. Now we've got the stamp. Yeah, I really don't know what the hell this thing does. Would have been nice to have picked this up so I could understand. Because they all seem to be actives, whatever it's giving me. Good, good, good. Keep this moving. Okay, do you hold something I would want? You do hold one of these guys, which is actually pretty worth playing out. Dude, I swear, these guys never pay out on normal runs. Um... While holding the fire button, short range tiers are also short. I'll just take it, whatever. Okay, that's, that's kind of nice. Don't mind it. Those guys, like, never goddamn pay out when I'm playing as Mammon. And then it's like, oh, uh, you're not? Here's an item, instantly, for five coins. The only problem is, enemies that are champions, even if they're of the same type, have more HP, therefore they do not get stolen away the way I would hurt. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's just such an insanely good book. And the fact that it's a two-room charge as well, basically a two-room charge to kill, like, half to all of the room on any given room. Like, more than half of the room dead. It's, it's, it's crazy how good it is. Because most rooms consist of multiple of the same enemy. That's just how room design generally works. There you go. Again, more than half the room dead. Just so good. Fortunately, we have reached a dead end. If you, get, if you could get this thing with a 9 volt on a one room charge, you would basically just like idle half of the half of the whole run. Like you wouldn't have to do anything. Like most rooms, you could kill a vast portion of the room. Like this room would it would have literally just killed this entire room. Rooms like this is not so good because you're only going to kill one enemy. Rooms like that, there you go. With two enemies there. And then it also does the whole... Like, if, if killing them wasn't enough, it also does that whole thing where it shoots a bunch of uh, extra shots out like from the dead enemy. It's like, you didn't need to do that part. That part wasn't necessary, but it just makes it even stronger. And we are going dark path here. That we are. We'll see if we can speed through this. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Second. Champion version of you. I like this champion. It splits into three. He's hit me. I no longer like him. Oh, no. He gave a black heart. I re-like I re him again. Now, as you just saw there, it does seem to have either a range limit or an enemy count limit. So it can't kill, like, that many enemies at once. I'm not quite sure what that was about. I have seen it kill four runes before, though. I have seen it done. Oh, what the hell? Okay, the doors. I was, like, trying to walk through the door, and the door's actually here. My bad. Hoping for soul hearts. Sadly not. We did get a token there. I'll leave that there for now. Oh, that was a broken heart. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was a... Aha! Two extra lives. 
That was one of the lives, one of the hearts that gives you an extra life, which I still think is poor design, but to each their own, I guess. There's a bunch of things like that in the game. It's not the only thing, so I won't throw too much shade its way. Wasn't looking to fight you, but I guess we are now. Oh, this, that attack is... Oh, it just hits me so often. Uh, backstabber? I'm not sure why that had a broken heart above it. Intriguing, though. Intriguing. Oh my god, that explosion was hearty. Wasn't expecting it to be that, that huge. Okay. It is mine boss time. Oh, I was using my space bar there. So, uh, interesting. So, I used my space bar there, and now my little orb thing has, uh, has, has not, it's not showing off an item. It was showing box of spiders. It no longer is. So, maybe it just means it's an extra active that's going to get used with your next active use. But at the same time, that's what I was thinking. And it did shut the orb, and there's nothing displaying now when I used my space bar. But we also didn't get any spiders, so a little confused on that. Objection. Little confused. Bettered. I'll take the pact, definitely. The bleeding here is like... I don't know if it's because the whip kind of goes through them then back again, but it's, it seems to be hitting, hitting the bleed like every single time. Well, let's, let's just see on the next boss or enemy. Eh, it's not super consistent. I'm not quite sure what, what it is. So, Bob's Rotten Head is the next thing that we've got in our list here. So, if I use this... See, it didn't use Bob's Rotten Head, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a little confused, I've got to say. Certainly a little befuddled by it all. We bled that enemy and we hit him in the front, so I think it is working the way I think it is. Because the fetus is going into the enemy, then out the back. It's doing it's doing the bleed. Oh god. Room's treacherous. Yes. Don't really know if I'm going the right way here. Oh, being able to kill those two instantly is very nice. They're hearty enemies, and they have like a little anti-death mechanic where they sort of stay alive for a little bit after they die. Nullifies that whole shebang. Okay, let's try and go the right way this time, please. What's on my character? When I'm moving this way, it's like a little snorkel or something. You see it on the front of my character. What the hell is that? Very gross room here. Now that was kind of nice. That's a very, very good trinket, but a little bit too late. Weird room here. Okay, boss time. What? I love the way you can just whip bombs away like that. Whip. That one didn't quite work. That one went backwards. Shit. So many bombs on you, my guy. There you go, baby. We did it. Beautiful. What a run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Nice little D4 action. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.